Well, it's a lovely day in Citadel Forge with Fire. Uh, we don't do many grindy episodes, so I generally do that off camera. But we need some precious stone, so let's go and visit an enemy camp and uh, see what we can find. And we'll take Destiny, why not? And off we go. Shall we just circle the castle whilst we're about it? Yeah, why not? Took a lot of work to build that. Now we're going to go off and visit Lagoon Cave, which isn't very far away. At least I hope it's not very far away. Destiny is not the fastest beast on Earth. I still need to um, get a black dragon. That's my next goal. They kind of start around the high 40s in levels. I ought to be able to tame one of those. Shouldn't be too much of a bother. Uh, where are we? We're there. That's the monolith. Caves of Akator. No, we want the lagoon cave. It's a bit further around. I think this cave is a big enough system that Destiny will be able to come in with me. Uh, that's kind of my hope. Oh, what we got here? I actually visited this fella's place before. Who does it belong to? Nicholas Purple. Okay. Haven't seen him on for a while. And whose is this? This is Zibula. Or Zibula. Or Zibula. Who knows? And I think this is the Lagoon Cave. Yep. So let's go to it. Oh, you're on passive, aren't you? We'll take you off passive. Uh, aggressive and... Hello. Cool. Are you following? Oh, you are. Very good. Oh, that's a forest guardian, but he's... Oh, he's only level 11. And it helps... <laughs> it, it helps if you use your offensive spell rather than... Uh, rather than blinking into him. Oh, dear me. Well, Destiny was doing a lot of flying around there. Not sure uh, actually participating at all. Rowan berries. Oh, well. Cool. Now, this is what we're after. The precious stone. Uh, it'll have gold ore, iron ore, possibly a bit of stone ore. But mainly, what we're after is the precious stone. Because we used a lot of that. Um, in our crafting. The big windows with the glass require precious stone. So they're really quite costly from a material point of view. Oh, that, that water sound's getting on my nerves. Dare say it was getting on your nerves too. So this is how fast you pick stone and stuff up when you've got a level 40 staff. Or any level 41. And this is a pretty decent uh, level 41. So not very quickly. You can imagine how long it took me to get 25,000 stone for the castle. We'll just kill this guardian. Feel free to join in any time, Destiny. Nope. Okay then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, got a precious stone from them. And a chest. Oh. Well, loads more stuff in it than the high-level chest. It's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Um, these are essences. 
if you drain those you get different essences. To be honest, I'm not short of essences. I don't... Oh, I can maybe do it with some more light. Is that a light one? Yep. So that's the light essence. What's this one? It's a dark essence. Yeah. And that's the storm essence. Cool. So those guys were only level 11. Um, not particularly difficult. I always put this stuff up. And this is mushrooms. You can never have too many mushrooms. Uh, oh, that was quite obviously mushrooms. That wasn't what I was going to say. I changed what I was going to say as uh, time went by. And these sort of shiny rocks here, they're the iron ore. And I'm going to need lots and lots of iron ore, so we'll harvest this. So, I've got the next level of armour unlocked in the knowledge tree. Uh, but I don't have the resources to make more than, perhaps, uh, one set of each type of armour. And really, when you're crafting a new set type of armour, you need to make five or six of each version. So, five or six helmets, five or six chest pieces, five or six greaves, five or six boots. Uh, because the what the item has on it in ways of pluses oops, keep out my way for destiny, don't stand on my toes what the item has on it in way of pluses varies from item to item and it's totally random so you've got no way of knowing what you're going to get you can deconstruct the ones that are no good but you only get back a fraction of the resource you put in so, you still need an awful lot in the first place. So I might be able to make some of the new boots at the, at the present moment in time, but boots don't really carry a lot of um, pluses on them. It's the, um, the chest pieces and the greaves in particular, the gauntlets, that um, they give you the big pluses. And most of my health and mana comes from my equipment. It's not it's not from levelling up. Now is Destiny gonna be able to fit through this channel? I'm not sure he is, no. Okay, we'll not bother. We'll just fly out the top. Come on. Yeah, you fly around for a bit. We're all just waiting for you, you know. What are you doing? Land. Dear me. Right. Let's just fly out. Now, are there any more places near here where I might be able to get precious stone? I'm not sure. What's that? Enemy camp. It tends to be in caves rather than enemy camps. I think actually there's probably some over there. So, we need to head kind of northwestish, Kind of that way. So my plans for the next few Citadel Forge with Fire videos are at some point to tame a black dragon. I am a bit of a wuss when it comes to combat so I am probably putting that off until I'm a bit closer to their level. Uh, I'm hoping the black dragons are a bit faster than Destiny. Um, finish off decorating the castle, that's going to involve quite a lot of farming because I need refined, uh, refined cloth and each refined cloth requires two normal cloth. A normal cloth is made from uh, yellow pine, so I'm going to need to farm lots and lots of that. And uh, 
and that's needed for most of the rugs and flags and stuff. I need frost wood for paintings. Um, I may rearrange the crafting areas because <clears throat> having them in the corners seemed like a good idea at the time, but it's kind of slightly doing my head in running around from one place to the next when actually I need everything pretty close together. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. And then do some more quests and explore the more dangerous areas of the map. Now the kind of downside to Citadel's Forge with Fire is you can only have one base. Where are we? Oh, let's take out the, the fairies, sprites or whatever they are. Oop. That took you by surprise, didn't it? Yeah, took me by surprise. Come on, Destiny, get stuck in. Oh, I've done for them by the time you do, haven't I? I don't know. Call yourself a dragon. If there's a rabbit needs killing, honestly, he's on it like a shot. Yeah, yeah. A demonic eye. Yeah. It's the second one of those I've come across. Is that a rabbit you've gone for, is it? Yep, you see? Told you. Those rabbits, you gotta watch them. Yeah. Isn't that right, Destiny? You're a level 42 dragon. That was a level whatever rabbit. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Right, let's carry on. Now, which way are we going? Um. Oh, it's just over there, is it? My rake's den. What's that one? I think it's actually Yako Bokken's cave we want, but... If there's another one close at hand, we might as well have a go. These are far too low level for us, really. We're uh, just as well. You might have helped Destiny. Is. So you just stand there whilst your mate gets killed. Yeah, goodness knows what Destiny was. Don't, don't throw those dilu diluted vials away, because when you deconstruct a, a, a group of them, um, you get a decent return of, of the investment. And actually, these low-level mobs are actually giving me at least as good loot as the high-level mobs. Which doesn't seem... doesn't seem right, does it? You, you think the... Uh, yeah, yeah. You think the high level mob should give you a better return of stuff. Come on, come out where me dragon can get you. Oh, I actually did something. Fantastic. So yeah, if you deconstruct the diluted health files, you get quite a bit of resource back. Um, I'm struggling to think exactly how much, but... Nope. There you go. I think that was better loot than the high level loot as well. Right. Just get that mushroom whilst we're here. Because you can't have too many mushrooms. Yeah, well, so far, Destiny, you've killed a rabbit. We're not impressed. Yeah, yeah. Now, where's this next cave? It's more north than anything else, I think. Here we go. Just check the map, see if we're on more or less the right path. Yeah, we are. <coughs> A 
Lots of birds around here. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Birds are great for feeding your tame. Not as good as bread maybe, but... How close are we getting? Nearly there. I'm not going to bother with that enemy camp. It's just the one with the cave that we're after. Is that over here? Oh, I think it is. Now feel free to join in, Destiny. Oh, there's a rabbit, is there? Have you spotted a rabbit? Oh, it's a pixie. Wow. What are you going to do? Well, you've redeemed yourself. We'll give you that one. Always pick up mushrooms. Essential for farming. Right, guys, what you got? Anything? Any bones for me? Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. Come on. Any time now, Destiny? Yeah, yeah, you just fly around a bit. That'll scare them. Two bones. With bones you can make mulch. So that's... Oh, somebody's already looted the chest. That wasn't me. Oh, that's frustrating. Let's take it out on that rabbit. What are you doing, Destiny? Oh, that's Emrys. Okay. Is Yako what's his name in here? He is! Yay! Oh, a Phoenix Spirit Shard, that's good. I knew there was a reason why it was good to attack him. Bones. Milk. For butter. For bread. Alright. And that's what I'm really after. Although the Phoenix Spirit Shards are a nice plus. So Emrys is the only other person I've seen on the server. Um, I'm much more reluctant to be trusting now after um, my housemates totally ripped me off. So I don't think I'll be inviting people who I don't know from outside the game or from YouTube. What are you doing out there? Ah, oh, goodness knows. There's nothing around here that can really hurt Destiny, so. But we will just go and see what he's doing. Where are you going? Come back. I need a lift. Don't land on my toes. Watch the toes. Yep, yeah. okay. So we've got a little bit of precious stone, some iron, some gold. Um, I could really do with more iron. I think. Probably east is the way to head for that. So east we shall go. So 
So nothing really threatening about that combat. Uh, what's Destiny's health? Destiny's on full health. Eh. I could do with a bit of healing. But I'll use my healing spell. And I've got a ring that regenerates mana, which is quite essential. So I can just keep blasting away with the arcane missile. That's no bother. And then when I need to heal, I can switch to my other staff that has the healing spell on it. And I'll just heal myself. Easy peasy. Particularly in this region. Okay. I think this shoreline has, uh, yeah, some iron boulders. Now, did we pick up any nature's essence? Because my extraction spell's nearly shot. And, um, oh yeah, I've got nature's essence. So I'll need some nature's essence to um, replace it when it dies. Yeah, okay. Is that iron? Yep. Here we go. So I'll, I'll carry on doing this for a little while, uh, but I think we'll leave it there, and we'll catch you on the next episode. And hopefully, on the next episode, I've collected enough uh, resources to do a bit of um, a bit more decorating in the castle. Get some rune crystal too. I can now create the um, the item that makes stone magically. Uh, however, I no longer need lots of stone because I've finished the main build, so... <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. What I need now is cloth. And that takes this stuff, the yellow pine. So, um, yeah. I see a lot of farming ahead in my life. But that's okay. I can do a crop of yellow pine every time I'm on. I think it only takes about an hour for the yellow pine to grow, so... That's not a problem. Right, we'll call that one there. And I will see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah, alright, Destiny.